beautiful, unique, creative individuals that clicked on this video. I'm so happy you're here with me. My name is Lanchin and I make aesthetic and book related videos. And um, today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite aesthetics and that is dark academia. Not only is this an aesthetic that I practice within my style, but it's also an aesthetic that I practice within my daily routine and it depicts the activities that I partake in. So I wanted to share a list of about 55 different activities that you can do to feel as if you were living in the <laughs> dark academia world, to feel as if you were living as your main character in a DA book. Some of these things are very simple. Some of these things you can do at home. It can take little to no effort to complete them and some of these involve actually leaving your house and getting out and doing a bit of exploring. Whether you are someone that likes to stay at home more or go out and do things, this list is going to be for everyone. Well, I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's just get right into the activities. Don't mind me, I'm just reading off my long list that I made. The first activity is going to be write with a quill and ink. This is such a nostalgic thing to do, even if you've never done it before. And if you write in cursive, that's a plus. The next thing is to drink tea out of a porcelain teacup or a vintage teacup. It doesn't really matter. And you don't even need the fancy teacup. You can just drink tea more often. The next thing is to drink coffee. Maybe you're not a tea drinker. I think that both of these things work perfectly in the dark academia world though. Tea in the morning, coffee in the afternoon. The fourth one is to read your local newspaper. I actually really like this because I don't watch television. I don't have cable and I'm not a big fan of the news. So reading my local newspaper makes me feel more involved in my community and aware of things that are going on around me, which is kind of the little bubble that I prefer to live in. And also, having coffee while reading the newspaper in the morning feels like a very adult, sophisticated thing to do, and I highly recommend it. Number five is to read more books. I would say specifically read books within the dark academia world or read some classics. But if neither of these are up your alley and you just kind of want to do more dark academia activities without actually reading about dark academia books, read whatever you want. Just reading in general is definitely something you'll want to do. Start learning a new language. I do this through the Duolingo app. It's super, super easy and convenient, but if you have another way of learning, then do that as well. You could even go take a class, but again, this aesthetic is all about learning new things. So you're going to hear me say, learn this, learn that, do this, do that a lot. Number seven is a little DIY and that's to make coffee or tea stained paper for writing letters. You can also do art on these as well. It looks very cool and vintage. Number eight is to write a letter to a friend, your past self or your future self. I think those are all really good options and letter writing is not dead. Number nine is to visit your local library and get a library card so that way you can start renting books for free and take advantage of that amazing space and all of that knowledge that the library contains. It's also a great place to study and I personally love to just be in that environment surrounded by books. Number 10 is to join a book club. You can go to your local library and see if they have any book clubs or you can start your own or join one online. This is something that I am planning to do. So I think this is probably my favorite one on the whole list. Number 11 is to visit a poetry reading or a poetry open mic. And these are so fantastic. I just love the whole vibe and atmosphere of these places when you go and it's people pouring their hearts out. It could either be something that they are just reading off from a book or it could be something they wrote themselves. It's a very great place to meet people as well. And I also love, I love the snaps. I love the snaps. Number 12 is to go to an open mic poetry reading and actually read something that you like or enjoy. This might not be for everyone, but I just wanted to throw it out there that you can definitely do this too. Number 13 is to go to a jazz club. 
Not all jazz clubs require you to be 21, so you'll have to look up ones within your area. You can also go to a big band club as well, but if you can even just find, you know, jazz in the park, things like that. And I have a very high appreciation for the people that can make that kind of music because that kind of music makes me feel things and it gives me chills and it's absolutely beautiful. Number 14 is to go to a drive-in movie. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I know I'm taking so long and this video is going to be 30 minutes if I don't just say them faster so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut some of them short. <laughs> Number 15 is to go to a movie at a cemetery or in a park. In LA they had movies at cemeteries in lots of different places so i'm not sure if it's in every state but the movies in the park i see a lot more often look that up and see if you have one in your area and seeing an older movie is preferred number 16 is to have a picnic in a park and read a book i mean you can have a picnic anywhere but i personally love to people watch and read and maybe find someone else that's reading and have a conversation about the books <laughs> Number 17, when you are having your picnic, you can actually go and pick some flowers to dry out at home or to press to display. Number 18 is to visit some bookstores. Make a point to visit a really cute bookstore every time you travel and pick up a book if you feel like it or even just browse and find something new that you want to read. Number 19 is to see a classic play at a theater. This is something I really want to do more often because seeing people perform is a whole other experience and a whole other world of creativity and it's a really great way to just feel inspired. Number 20 is to start sketching anatomy, people, or history or anything related to Greece. <laughs> Honestly, just start sketching in general and teach yourself how to do it. And it doesn't have to be super good. Just do it for fun and because it's something that you enjoy. 21 is to participate in a nude model painting class. I think you can still do this in some places. I don't think you have to be in school. I actually looked this up before making this video and I did find one. So you'll have to do a little research, but this would be such a great experience. Number 22 is to visit your local art museum. Number 23 is when you go to an art museum, bring a little sketch pad and start sketching out some of your favorite art pieces. Number 24, go to a gallery opening. Number 25 is to visit visit your history museum. Number 26, go to the opera. Number 27 is to learn piano, but specifically learn a classic song. Number 28 is very specific because it's something I'm actually doing, and that's to read every book written by your favorite philosopher. 29, learn to play chess. Number 30 is to visit a chess game within a park and actually try competing for fun. 31, write a book for fun. 32, start studying something new in history. 33 is to make it a point within your day to go to a cafe and study, read, or just grab a coffee and people watch. 34 is to visit your local antique shop or any antique shop in general and find something special. Another thing you can do when you are visiting an antique shop is to talk to the owner about the things they are collecting, where they got them from, and the history behind them. I've definitely been in some amazing stores where the person had <laughs> literally known the history behind every single piece that they had collected and where it came from and the year it was made and it was very, very fascinating. Number 35 is to go take a walk in a park or through the forest and just think and look around and be present and notice things. And if that's a little too boring for you, you can go to a park with more people and people watch or maybe spark up a conversation with someone that looks interesting. Number 36 is to drink wine or sparkling cider out of a wine glass, of course, because it's very fancy and elegant. Number 37 is to start writing poetry for fun and start doing it daily. Number 38 is to host a dinner party and invite some friends over. 39 is to start studying some poetry. And like I said before, when you study it, you can start writing it and understanding it more and it's a lot more enjoyable that way. Number 40 is to learn about philosophy. There's so many different philosophers that you can learn from and the things they have to say are truly life-changing. And if this isn't something that you've looked into before, 
you should. Number 41 is to practice writing in cursive. And I say practice because I know that they do not teach cursive in schools anymore. So if you don't know how to write in it, definitely learn. Number 42 is to light candles and live by candlelight at night. This is such a moody way to cook dinner or to even eat dinner or hang out with friends. I personally love this and it's it makes me feel as if I'm living in a different time and I really love that. 43 is to play classical music. I really love Chopin, Bach, Mozart, but any music that lifts your spirits will do. Number 44 is next time it's raining outside, pick up a book, read, or go outside and walk in the rain and contemplate life. 45 is to tour some historical buildings within your area and actually learn about them. 46, this goes with it, is to pull out that sketchbook that you now keep with you and sketch the historical buildings. Number 47 is to memorize quotes by your favorite philosophers. Number 48 is to learn about Greek mythology. Number 49 is to annotate your favorite book. If you haven't started doing this already, you will fall in love once you begin. It's a great way to memorize things within your favorite reads and to go back and appreciate them once again. Number 50 is to start taking Polaroids. 51 is to invest in a film camera. You can get them from a flea market, a vintage store. Most of them actually do work and start taking some photos. Number 52 is to learn to develop the film in a dark room. This is something I've always wanted to do and it would be so cool to actually capture something and then see it develop right in front of your eyes. Number 53 is to go and see a black and white movie. Around Halloween time, I know that they normally come back in theaters with older films, so look out for it around that time. 54 involves friends and that is to get a group of friends together to go watch meteor showers and to contemplate our place in the universe. Watch Shakespeare in the park. I'm not sure if they do this everywhere, but they do this in California and I think they travel and do it. So I'm pretty sure they do it in other states, but this is such a fun immersive experience and it's a great way to meet a lot of like-minded people like you. Okay, so that is it for all of my activities. The list honestly could have gone on forever. And I'm sure just by watching this, you came up with a lot on your own. So be sure to write those down so you can complete them later. But thanks so much for being here. Share any other ideas that you have for everyone else here watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.